Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today I will be swatching the INM West Coast Vibes Collection, which consists of 10 different polishes, most of them being creams. So let's get right into seeing the swatches. Okay, as you guys already know, today is a swatch video, but some of the colors are very similar. So instead of showing you individual swatches, I thought I would swatch four at a time and then maybe three at a time, just so you can kind of see them all at once and compare. So first up, we are doing the like nude slash brown category. First off, we are going to start with one called Sultry Lips Keep Ships. Got to be real careful about saying that one. Just saying. Okay, so this is kind of a off-white, a very off-white, almost could be considered gray, but it's more um, putty-like than gray. I'm not even sure that's the correct term to use it to describe that, this color. But there is a look. That is one coat, and the formula was really nice. As you can see, it applied really evenly. I can't see through on my nail. If you want like a thicker, fuller finish, then you could do two coats, but really that one coat covered perfectly. Next up, we have one called Late Summer Bronze, which is kind of a shade darker. And it's, it's another different tone where you kind of want to call it a gray, but it's got a bit more like tan slash taupe in it that makes it not gray. So I guess you could consider this one kind of a taupey or in a brownish khaki. Maybe that's a better term. I'm not sure. But there is one coat of that, as you can see as well. That one had a really good formula. It applied really nice and evenly. The brushes on these allow for a great cuticle line. However, you can kind of tell that on this side over here, it is a little tad sheer. So you might want a second coat, just depending on how you apply the polish. But... I will show you two coats on all of these. However, obviously, we're going to let those dry first. Next up, we are moving on to one called So Nude and Nancy, which is a warmer nude, warmer white, warmer, I don't know. It's just another one that's kind of hard to put into word because it's a, what some would consider a nude polish. Obviously, none of these are quite like skin tone nudes, but they're neutrals, I guess would be a better term, but. Here is one coat, and I got it too close to my, cute, my edge of my nail, so sorry about that. But as you can see, that one is a bit thinner, therefore it's a bit runnier and trickier to work with. It's not hard to work with by any means, but it is a tad bit more sheer, so therefore we, the second coat is definitely needed on that one. Okay, lastly for this little batch, we have the brightest one of this little section, and this one is called... Brunch and Bloodies. If you guys watch my Instagram stories, I actually swatched this for you guys earlier this week on there. It's it's a very interesting color. It's kind of a rusty orangey brown, if that makes any sense. And it's one that probably doesn't show well on camera. Actually, it's pretty accurate on camera, and the swatch pictures are really accurate, so be sure to check those out. I will put up the swatch pictures out right after this like segment, so... Stay tuned for that. And again, this one was called Brunch and Bloodies. So there is one coat of each of those. Time for coat two of these, and I'm just gonna quickly apply them. Not really talk that much, just so you guys can kind of see how they behave. Again, this one, okay, I said I wasn't gonna talk much, but here I am talking. This one really didn't need a second coat, but there it is with two coats. It just gives it an even fuller finish. Now, I'm not sure, but there was this one OPI polish called My Boyfriend Scales Walls. I feel like this might be close to it. I don't know because I don't actually own that polish, but I know it was like a really popular one among people that did nail art. The next one is called Late Summer Bronze. That one, again, is really close to being full coverage in one coat, but it could use a second coat just to make it extra plump. Is that even the right term to use when you're talking about a nail polish? I don't know. I know what I mean, but there's a second coat of that. And it definitely does give that plumpness. I guess I really think of plump in the term of a jelly polish, and this is not a jelly polish, but it just gives it a fuller, thicker feel, if that makes sense to you. <laughs> now we're going on to So Nude and Nancy. Remember, this one was a tad bit watery, but... 
still easy to work with. You just got to watch it. This nail on my hand is just more curved than the rest. So if I'm going to have issues with a watery polish, it's going to be this nail. But there is two coats and it's definitely up to full coverage. Now, even though I wouldn't personally wear a lot of these colors on their own, I feel like they're a great base for nail art, say, in the fall. Not quite spring, which I'm not sure why these are releasing right now, but there are different seasons all over the place, and so that could be a reason why. So here we have our second coat of Brunch and Bloodies, and again, this one is almost full co coverage in one coat. If you want that extra depth, you can definitely do a second like I did here. So there is the second coat of all of those. Now let's take a look at the swatch photos. Next up, we just have a little segment of two polishes. These are the more purple-toned neutrals, if that makes sense. How many times can I say if that makes sense? I don't know. I should have a little tally thing up at the corner, but I don't. Okay, so first up, we are going with this gray-like color that is pulling a bit purpley. And this one is called Auto on the West Coast. So we will put that on my index finger and see what we think. It definitely has a gray color pulling through there. It's definitely more gray than it is a lavender. I'll bring you guys in a little bit more. So there is that one, as you can see. It's a charcoal gray that pulls a bit purpley. Next up, we are going to look at one called Wine and Dine, which is this like eggplant purple. And this one is in the bottle, like the neck of the bottle, it kind of has a red tone, which would explain the wine in the title, like a red wine type thing. So here is one coat. As you can tell, it is a tad bit sheer because it is translucent in spots and definitely pulls more of a red, red wine red. <laughs> so there is one coat of each of those. Now we are going in for our second coats. First one is Autumn on the West Coast. Again, this one probably doesn't need a second coat, but we will just see what it looks like all built up. There's that. Definitely full coverage and you're ready to go. I could see this being, again, not a color I would personally wear on a like a regular everyday basis, but if I needed a good like a charcoal gray for a nail art base or for under glitter, I would definitely gravitate towards that one. Now our second coat of Wine and Dine. And this one is so dark that if you didn't know any better from afar, you would think it's black for sure. Because as you can see with that second coat, any sheerness went away and it's definitely just pulling that black vibe even though it is kind of an eggplanty color. Now we're moving on to the last segment, and this segment consists of four polishes. These are the more exciting ones in this collection, in my opinion. One of them, not so much, but the other three, for sure. So first off, I'm going to start with one called As Teal As You Can Get It, which is a teal-toned gray, which I never really thought of before. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I, I do actually really like it. I think you can see how it is like a really, really dusty teal, which some could consider gray. It definitely looks more gray in the bottle and more teal on the nail. So there's one coat of that. Great formula, great consistency. As you can see, that went on and it looks really good with one coat. I actually wore it yesterday. I think I had, I had one coat on and then a glitter on top. And it was really nice. I enjoyed wearing it. So that is one coat as teal as you can get it. 
Next up, we have the brightest color in the collection, and this one is called Blue Eyed Girl, and this is just like a really pretty sky blue. I have yet to use this one, so it'll be nice to see what the formula is like. Okay, that was weird. Did you guys see that? There's like a unmixed pigment in there, and it is still pulling. That is very interesting. There is one coat. As you can see, that one was much more watery compared to the rest. It is definitely sheer towards the middle of my nail and is pulling a bit towards the edges. So that one might take a little more dry time, but we'll see. Next up, we are moving on to the most interesting one. This one is called Chameleon Air, and it's, I'm going to actually show it to you. It is very different. It's kind of a gray with a teal to purple flash in it. Now I did swatch this one for photos yesterday and I can tell you that the purple doesn't really show up on the nail but the other flash of like the teal slash blue shade does show up and it's a really pretty polish. So here is one coat of Chameleon Air as you can see now that teal slash blue flash is coming through and it's a really great formula. It's thick but not too thick. One coat is looking really nice, and even though on that last stroke it did kind of put a sheer spot, it kind of self-leveled out as it is drying. So there is one coat of Chameleon Air. And next up and lastly for this little bit is a gray. It's just your standard gray, but I mean, I feel like everybody needs a good gray in their collection, whether it be for nail art or under glitter or just because maybe you like gray and it goes with a lot of things. So this one is called Picnic at Night. I will try to bring you guys a little bit closer for this one to my pinky so you can see this one. It is a really nice gray. I've actually been on the hunt for a good gray recently because I had one and there was just something off about it so I had to dispose of it but having a good gray is always a good thing so now I'm happy to have this one and wear that because it's gonna be great for art honestly and you guys know me I love a good nail art look so there is one coat of all of those colors and now we're gonna move on to the second okay we are putting on the second coat as teal as you can get which I think is actually one of my favorites out of these because it's different. I definitely don't have anything like it, which is nice to see somebody do because I feel like for creams, you're almost getting the same type of creams in everybody's collections, but I feel like this is something new. Maybe it's not, and maybe I'm just like oblivious to this color being out, but I personally don't notice it a lot, so it's kind of exciting. Now we're going to go back to Blue Eyed Girl. We're going to see if it's going to do that same weird little drifting that it did last time. I'm not sure what was up with that. I've never had that happen with these types of polishes. But this one, like even looking at it in the neck of the bottle, it is quite watery compared to any of the rest. Okay, now this time it's going on... I said that. Never mind. I was getting ready to say it was going on pretty well. And I mean, it is... But I think it was pulling funny, as you can see there. Maybe it's the brush. I've had issues with other things in the past. Not necessarily this brand. But, you know, sometimes there's just an off brush and it kind of makes the experience, the user experience, difficult. So we might dwindle it down to that. Because otherwise, it's a nice polish. Looking at it now with the second coat, I personally don't view it as even. It is still, to me, sheer, like, right in there, which I know you guys probably can't see on camera, and right over here. So, I will stop at two coats, but I think it might need a third just to even out. Now, we're moving on to Chameleon Air, which I really do like. It's so pretty. I just wish that the purple sheen in it, the purple, like, I guess some could consider it like a magenta sheen, but the purpley magenta sheen, I wish it would show on the nail, whereas I really only get the teal slash blue sheen. However, still, that is a really pretty polish, so I'm not discounting it for that. And the formula is good, I just wish that that little sheen that we see in the bottle would show up on the nail. 
So that is full coverage. Now we're going to move on to the last gray, even though we are already at full coverage. And this one is called Picnic at Night. I almost went off camera there. Sorry about that. And there it is. Definitely full coverage and it feels all nice and thick. So there you guys go. That is the last segment of polishes for this video. So let's take a look at the actual swatches. And here's your final look at all of the colors you just saw live swatch. I believe these are all available now, so I will have the link to where you can pick these up in the description box below, as well as a link to today's blog post, which will have pictures of each of the polishes and, you know, just more details. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked this and want more videos like this, be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you're up to date on all of the latest things. Also, if you want to be notified of when there's a new video, you can press the little notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on anything because of, you know, the way that the algorithms are going. You might as well. So thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.